Hello, and welcome to episode 24 of My Prostate is Trying to Kill Me. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy trying to fight prostate cancer and happy to have you along for the ride. Uh, today was treatment number 15, so I'm on the downhill slide. I've got 28 total to go. Uh, let's see, had a eh, not so great night's sleep last night and then uh, went to radiation treatment this morning. Uh, zipped home, took care of a few things around the house. And then I was so excited because my buddy Mike was uh, coming today for lunch. And uh, Mike Belinsky has been my friend. Gosh, we've worked together at the phone company for more than 30 years. And uh, we love to camp together. We did the Mojave Run together. Uh, just a great guy. Um, also, he's my brother in red. He's the, uh, the guy that's responsible for helping me get into the world of portraying Santa Claus. And I got to tell you right now, because of the hormone treatment that I'm on and the uh, the reduction, <laughs> elimination of my testosterone, uh, losing hair and the thinning, um, I got some beard envy coming on right now because he's still got a nice, glorious, luscious, full beard. But mine will get back there again after uh, I kill the cancer and at the point I can get off of the uh, uh, hormone treatments, then uh, mine should be back to its former glory. <laughs> I apologize. I have hit my wall. Uh, it's late this afternoon. Um, I I hate to be that guy, but man, it's hot and sticky today. <laughs> I live right by the beach and it's still nasty. It was 91 degrees here about a half an hour ago. Uh, the wind's blowing pretty good. Where my desk sits here, I'm about halfway between the front door and the sliding, sliding glass door at the back, so I do get a nice breeze going through here. I've got a fan sitting over in the corner there. Hopefully that's not making too much noise for the video. It does help to keep the air moving around, which helps quite a bit. I do appreciate that. But uh, having Mike here today was just uh, very needed. It was awesome. We talk on the phone quite a bit, uh, keep track of each other on Facebook, that kind of stuff. Um, he's given me calls. We've prayed together, and he and his wife Daphne um, both are extremely uplifting people. Uh, I get their prayers all the time and their support, and it's uh, greatly appreciated. Um, I love both of you guys uh, immensely. Just from the bottom of my heart, you're fantastic people. I appreciate you always being there. Um, Daphne's gone through some uh, personal sorrow here, losing her father not too long ago, and uh, he was a wonderful man. Charlie Brown will be missed. Um, Semper Fi and, and uh, Godspeed. He was, he was an incredible man. Um, but on to little happier things, kind of. Uh, saw the nurse today, and it's kind of like when you had to take a pop quiz in school. You're not always that happy about getting them. So she went through the list of things today, and every Monday I gotta weigh myself when I go in there. They have a section of the floor that looks like a trap door, and you step onto it, and that's the scale. There's a digital printout on the wall, and it took me a minute to figure it out, but some, if they have that big platform in case you're in a wheelchair, then you can uh, roll onto it, and it'll still tell you what your weight is. So I weighed in, and uh, since I've started through these 15 treatments, um, I lost 10 pounds, and that's a no-no. I'm not supposed to lose any weight because it throws off the targets on, uh, on the radiation on my body mass. So uh, ate lunch today, and, and I think what I'll do is make sure that I either have a lunch date, like tomorrow I'm going to have lunch with my parents, so I'm guaranteed that I'll, I'll eat something, uh, or I'll make sure I set a timer on my phone so that it clicks and says, hey, it's time to eat lunch. When Kelly gets home, I always eat dinner, but during the day, I get busy doing things and it just slips my mind. I don't always eat. So when I came home this morning, I made myself a couple of pancakes, and then I had lunch today from Wobble Grill. We enjoyed that immensely. And then tonight, uh, I think we're having um, chicken breasts and rice for dinner, uh, which will be super enjoyable. And uh, hopefully I can get those pounds back on. Um, you know, eating good stuff. I'm not gonna, not gonna eat a whole bunch of uh, cookies. <coughs> uh, Oh, I did buy some brownie bites uh, at the store yesterday when I went shopping. But uh, so it's the first time I've ever had a medical professional say, hey, I need you to put weight on. But I'm sure I can do it. I can. So if, uh, if you did me a favor and send some positive fat vibes my way, I'd really appreciate it. I got a text late last night from, uh, from Chef, from Andy, and he wants to hook up and have lunch. And I had to laugh. I fell asleep about 9.30 last night, so I went to bed. Well, not necessarily in that order, but I got tired, so I went to bed about 9.30, fell asleep, and then I woke up at 12.30. Sorry, I hit the wall and it hit back. Um, 
So I woke up about 12.30 thinking it was 5.30 in the morning, and it wasn't, and I noticed the blinking light, so I checked my text message, and uh, Andy wanted to come and have lunch today, and I said, man, I'm sorry, I already have plans, you know, let's get together soon. And he said, uh, he said, I'll bring some fatty food, he says, you know, because uh, everybody loves fat kids, and, uh, and they do. So I miss you, brother, and uh, we will get together really soon. We'll set up a date, and um, we'll do, uh, oh man, you know what sounds good? Some chintz and gomi. Oh, noodles, now I'm really feeling hungry. All right, so food out of the way. Talked about that enough for right now. Uh, gosh, what else was I gonna? I even made notes for myself, and I'm still tired right now, and I'm blanking on that. But um, real quick, I was gonna tell you about when I first went into the hospital, and I was thinking of it because of the gown today that I had to put on. There's two different styles. One has like a split sleeve that's much easier to get on, and the other one has a regular sleeve, like a t-shirt. And I got the regular sleeve today, and it was it was hard to get on. I feel so uncoordinated trying to put those things on and get them tied. And, and I guess um, maybe I do have a little bit of modesty left. I didn't think I did after that hospital trip when I got diagnosed with cancer. I apologize, that is so rude. I'm, I'm beat. I didn't have any coffee this afternoon, so this is me. Um, but, uh, you know, being in the hospital, um, I'm laying there because they, they put the uh, supercubic catheter in, so I'm laying back in the hospital bed, and I got a tube hanging out of me, and that's all taped up. And then I've got uh, the oxygen, oxygen sensor on one finger. I have an IV coming into this side over here, so there's really not much you can do. I'm kind of tied up. And then if I have to get up to go to the bathroom, then I got to figure out how to work the gown, which I guess at that point really shouldn't make any difference, right? Um, I was sharing the room uh, with a guy, and I'm blanking on his name right now, but he was awesome. And uh, but he can't see me, you know. And I'm I'm on the bed that's closest to the bathroom, so I guess it should have been no big deal to get up and go over there. But oh my gosh, it did end up being a big deal. <laughs> so. I'll, uh, I'll tell you more about that tomorrow night. That'll, I'll write myself a note and I'll tell you that story tomorrow night. Just because I'm so tired, I can't do it justice today. Um, so uh, tune in for that one again tomorrow. But uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out a new show, look at that, I'm trying so hard to push that yawn back and it won't go. Uh, there's a new show on Prime, the Amazon network, and it's, uh, done by the same people that do uh, Survivor, and it's called The World's Toughest Race, I think, and Kelly and I just started watching it, we've seen a couple episodes of it, and oh my gosh, these people are, it's on the, the Echo Challenge race, and I'm unclear on the term, I don't remember for sure, but they're over in Fiji, and if, if you ever wanted to watch people get pushed to their limits and go beyond what anyone thought they could physically do, this is the show, we're hooked, so... Uh, the, the race is nine days. I'm not sure how many episodes there are of this, but uh, yeah, we're hooked on it, so we'll watch it again tonight um, during dinner. So yeah, if you get a chance, check that out. Prime uh, TV, and it's uh, the world's uh, greatest race or the world's hardest race, toughest race. I'm sorry, but you know, if you go if you go on on Prime, you'll be able to find it. So anyway. I'm going to sleep good tonight, I can guarantee you that, and I hope you guys do too. Tuesday's down, and we're just that much closer to the weekend. I did have my uh, my socks on today, Curtis, thank you very much. It's Taco Tuesday, so I wore my taco socks, and I had a new uh, a new technician there today that was helping out, and he thought they were pretty cool, so thumbs up and thank you for that. Um, if you'd like to continue along the ride with me, feel free to hit the subscription button below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, if you click the little bell, It'll notify you when the next video uh, gets uploaded. So thank you very much for those of you who are there every day. You comment and uh, any questions you have, feel free to put those down there. So have an awesome Tuesday night and uh, let's see what's tomorrow. Oh, day! I will talk to you guys then, okay? I love you all. Thank you for the prayers and for the shaka and for the positive vibes and the good thoughts. And uh, I, I hope that doesn't sound insincere. I know I tell you guys almost every video, but I honest to God, Thank you for every one of them because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fighting cancer as hard as I can. Uh, I'm asking the Lord to help me. Um, I'm, I'm asking his help and I'm asking your help too because I honestly believe in the power of positivity. I think you guys are making a difference. So 
thank you very much, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.